Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how you can make an awesome name generator in Excel that should impress everybody where all you have to do is, is press the button titled click name and in the circle a new name will be generated from a list of names. Watch until the end to see how to make this entire thing to make yours look just like this. So. First, we need the list of names that we want to be included in the random name generator. Now, here in this example, I have a list of names. One thing to note is that it starts on row 9 as opposed to row 1. That's because later on, these rows are going to be hidden. So that way, whenever the name generator is finished, you simply just won't be able to see the list of names like so. So, the first step is to write the function that is actually going to generate the names. But before we write this function, we need to figure out how many names there are. To do this, it's just a simple count a function. Equals count a, where this just counts the number of cells that have value in them. So start at the top, shift, control, down arrow, close parentheses, hit enter. As you can see, we have 50 names. Now comes writing the function that is actually going to generate the random name, which isn't too difficult. So to do this, we are going to nest a brand between function inside of a choose function, which this function is going to be copied and pasted in the um, example below, in the description below. So to do this, we're going to want to do equals choose. And basically all the choose function does is it says, hey, here we have a list of values. Let's find something that chooses between a list of values, right? And the range between function says, hey, let's pick a random number between these values. So the index number, we're going to then put the range between function. Range between. In tab to complete the function, we'll put the, the bottom is going to be 1, not 0, but 1. And the top is going to be the total number of names. And then we're going to close this. We're now for each additional argument from here is going to be a name. So to make this as fast as possible, and this is the only thing, this is a little bit more of the manual part, but you can click on the first name and then hit hold control and then click on each and every single subsequent name. And as you can see, it is being added to the this as each additional argument in the choose function is a new name. So we are getting pretty close to adding all the names. Okay, so now the names are added. And as you can see, whenever we run the function, a new name is chosen. Or in this example, whenever we go to the formulas tab, we click calculate now, the function also runs as well. But here we next need to add a little bit of pizzazz. And that is going to first call us into the button. Now to this we go to the developer tab. And before I move move any further, um in the top right corner, you know, there's is a link to a video that shows you how to enter the, the developer tab. Um, it's used for macros and you may or may not have the developer tab. But if you don't have it, look at the top right corner for a link to video on how to install the developer tab. And once you have the developer tab installed, you're going to go to the developer tab. Then you're going to go to insert form control under form controls, not ActiveX, but under form controls, you're going to click the button. We do highlight the button. And then we are going to just click OK. And here we see we have a button. And it's a normal little object, so you can move it around to be wherever you want it to be. And now we're going to record a macro, which, if you're not too familiar with them, it's just basically Excel's coding language. But the cool thing about Excel, though, is you can just record them. So to do this, we are going to go to the developer tab. And then 
we're going to click record macro. We're going to click, we're going to name the macro test five just as an example. Now we're going to click OK. And one thing to know is that once you click OK, every single thing that you click on is recorded. So be careful with what you click on after you click record macro. So we're going to then click on the cell that has the formula in it. We're going to click on the formulas tab. We're going to click on calculate now just once. The formula is calculated. Now we're going to go back to the developer tab and then click stop recording. From here, we're going to right click on the button, click assign macro, and then click the macro that we just made, says five. Now, as you see, every single time we click the button, the function is then calculated. So, now we're going to put a new name on the function, right click on the button again, edit, edit text, we can edit the text, pick a name, and then we're going to now insert the shape. We let's just say insert, go to insert tab, and then go over to illustrations, shapes. Let's just use this rectangle for this example. And then we're going to draw the rectangle that we want to um, have. We're going to format the rectangle, rectangle a bit, you know, format it to however you want it. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of basic formatting, so shape fill. Fill is white, shape outline is black, and then the weight is two and a half points. Now, we're going to click on the shape, go to the formula tab, press equals. The reference itself has the formula that picks friend name. Click OK. And now, it needs a little bit of formatting, so we're going to then go to the home tab, 20. And pretty much just format it. It's going to take a bit of toying around with, but for this example, I'm not going to do um, tons of formatting for this. So here we have the shape. And now, whenever you click, click name, a new name shows up in the shape. And the last step is to just hide all these um, um, rows to make it look like they weren't even there in the first place. And then we're going to highlight all, all the rows, right click, then click hide. And now, whenever you click, now we have a random name generator. Whenever you click pick name, hey, a new name shows up. So with that said, I hope you found this quick tutorial to be, this tutorial to be useful. Please sub subscribe if you found this to be useful. Um, one thing to know is that yes, there are some ways that you can make this a little bit more dynamic by incorporating um, official Excel tables and you know additional formulas to make it a little more dynamic. Um, but that said, this gives you a cool name generator. So I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Ring the bell icon. Link in the description for some free stock. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.